Hello, this is Bernarda Zinger, and today we are at another episode of Snippets on SNPs. Today I am talking to you about the cytochrome CYP1B1 and why it is a, such an important cytochrome for us to be aware of. CYP1B1 is the cytochrome enzyme that is so related to our ability to metabolize estrogens. When CYP1B1 is impaired as a genetic um, consequence, we may have a buildup of estrogens within our body. When you see a cluster of CYP1B1 enzymes on a genetic report as being abnormal, that is reason to be concerned that that particular person may be holding on to metabolized estrogens um, and not efficiently able to break them down. A very important secondary enzyme to be aware of if you have CYP1B1 um, impairments is the COMPT enzyme, COMT. COMT is an enzyme that is required to help metabolize estrogens, and so you don't want to have both of these in the, in the same person without being aware of it. Should you have COMT impairment and CYP1B1 impairment, then by all means have a diet such that you decrease the intake of the potential foods that could mimic <laughs> these um, metabolized estrogens. You also want to make sure that your diet is very high in soluble fiber and rich in substances that will allow you to detoxify these metabolized estrogens as efficiently as possible. Now, those three things that um, we know that can help you metabolize, metabolize estrogens out of your body more efficiently are calcium deglucurate, probiotics, especially bifidobacterium, and the nutritional supplement, Celamara. If we increase the intake of these particular three um, nutritional interventions, it can go a long way in helping us to eliminate metabolize estrogens out of the body, helping to decrease the load of the CYP1B1 enzyme that, that could be impaired. So to help ourselves getting rid of these metabolized nasty environmental estrogens out of our body, let's have a diet very high in soluble fiber, high in probiotics, good sources of calcium deglucurate, and celomarin. So until next time, this is Snippets on Snips. Stay well. Thank you.